Isn't that beautiful? I like just uh, holding it on a few shots for a while. Letting you guys hear the sounds. <laughs> One of those sounds. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. One of those sounds that you hear every, other than that bird up there behind me in that in that palm tree up there, one of the sounds of Motor Coach Country Club on a Monday morning is the sound of construction. No park is more active in, in construction than Motor Coach Country Club, you guys. I tell you what, it is it is something else to see down here. There is so much going on. And there is, uh, there is a beautiful uh, uh, weather this morning. It's going to be so nice. Um, I'm going to try not to fall in the water here. I'm going to flip you around so you're not looking at my mug. Hey, everybody. Good morning and welcome to episode 310 of Marathon Mondays with Mal. Stick with us all the way through because I'm going to eventually end up at the newest marathon coach down here in the desert. So stick with us. We are going to take a look at that. And today, because I'm behind the camera, I get to see all of your comments. Good morning to, uh, first of all, good morning to my mother who's watching. And I see Pat Oberg is watching. Absolutely. Ron, good morning to you. And good morning to all of those that are watching. And then eventually on YouTube later today. It's like some early morning maintenance on the boat here. But we're going to go around for a little ride on the Pedigo and see what kind of trouble we can get into and then eventually end up at the latest marathon over at the marathon lot. The grounds are absolutely beautiful here at Motor Coach Country Club. There's the, the main pool right there. And in the background of the main pool, where you see, uh, looks like water aerobics is going on this morning, you can see the restaurant up there. Top of the Falls restaurant. Sharice Jewell logging on, saying it's rainy in Portland. I checked with uh, my family, of course, this morning, and it's, uh, it's quite different than the anticipated 80 degrees it will eventually be here today uh, in the desert. All right, guys, we're going to try to ju do this. I don't have my steady cam with me this morning because it took kind of a, kind of died on me, so bear with me as we roll the block. Motor Coach Country Club across the street, Outdoor Resorts, Indio, and down the block, two blocks, Desert Shores. Beautiful lots, and today, Jim Cogley and myself are hosting on Marathon's behalf an awesome event. It's Marathon's annual, we call it the Cowboy Barbecue, but it's the Covered Wagon event. Very cool. If you guys remember from last year, marathon owners go out to the oasis in the desert and we check out what's going on out in the desert. Morning. And then, what, a few days ago, we had a virtual wine event. That was pretty cool that we uh, hosted here at Motor Coach Country Club with. Uh, J. Scott Winery out of Eugene. We had two different types of Grenache wines that we were tasting, a Grenache and a Grenache Rosé. Now, I don't pretend to know too much about wine, but after doing and hosting eight virtual wine events for Marathon, I know a little bit about wine at this point, 
and it's uh, it's a cool thing that Marathon does uh, that started in the COVID era where we could get a lot of our people together and get out to meet people. I'm not just doing this for the fun, folks. I'm out here to sell coaches, <laughs> right? So I got to meet these people that are that are wanting to buy marathons. That's what we do. Speaking of a beautiful marathon, how about 1344 right there on your left-hand side? A nice 2022 X3. Lots of coaches in a two block radius here on Avenue 48 in Indio. You wanna see an amazing paint job? You know, that's one of the things that you guys know about me. It's not just about, it's not just about, um, you know, I'm very, I'm very uh, transparent. Marathon does, like I've said before, in one second, you guys. Like I've said before, Marathon does the important things best. But I want to show you an amazing paint job. Isn't that something? We're going to get over to an amazing paint job here in a second when we get over to uh, the latest marathon that's in town. It's a good looking coach right there. All right. Pardon my unsteadiness, guys, but we want to. I want to ride safe if I'm riding on the bike. But as you can see, tons of construction. There's a classic Bronco. That's a cool car. Lots of construction. All these vehicles lining the streets are construction vehicles. And per uh, rules here at the park, I don't believe they're they are allowed in on the weekends. There is a lot of construction going on constantly in these parks. People making upgrades to their casitas and to their lots and their grounds. And, and um, so always something going on at Motor Coach. Quite frankly, at all the parks. We're just going to ride here on the back side of Motor Coach and then head over. There's another classic Bronco. That's two on the same block. That's pretty ironic. But yeah, we are going to, uh, if you're just joining us, we're going to go head over to the Marathon lot and check out the latest from Marathon. And from this point, hang on one second here. Take a look at this lot. Is that a beautiful view or what, you guys? Mountains in the background. Mark Judge watching from Florida. I love it. Mark, welcome. Hope your coach is doing well. It's always nice to have owners on here interacting with me. Let's 
It's a beautiful view. And this is a lot, you guys. It might have one of the better views in the entire park. And there's no casita on it. It is just, this is a really, really nice lot. And over there in the distance, right about over in here, you guys, that's the Marathon lot. Clubhouse, as you can see, is right there. Marathon lot is right down the hill. from the front of the lot. Ron says that Connecticut is getting some, getting more snow. Yeah, I don't doubt it. All right. Pardon the pavement shot there, guys, but I gotta, I gotta be safe here to some extent, right? There we go. All right. Let's get on our horse and get on down the block. Another thing that I've said about these parks is it's a good place to shop for a SUV or a cool car as we pass a, a Bentley on our left. Coming up right here, there's Marathon 1333. Those of you that remember that one. So one thing I want to talk about before we head over to the Marathon lot and show you the latest from Marathon, it's an X3, it's the newest coach, it's only about a week old, and uh, I want to show you this coach right here. This is a 2008, I believe that's right, it might be a 6. This is a 2006 or an eight, and I apologize, I can't remember. But look at that. Here's, here's the deal, guys, this is a brand new paint shop. We talk a lot about reimaginings. We talk a lot about getting it into the Marathon Service Department and getting your coach reimagined on the inside we don't talk enough and pardon the dust on the back side of this but this is a beautiful paint job you guys owners have had this coach for a while and they just decided to put a brand new paint job on there isn't that beautiful brought a whole new life to this. I believe Sarah Fiddler in our uh, exterior paint and marketing team, I believe Sarah did this paint job and it is just beautiful. Jim Cogley and I were over here talking with the owner a couple days ago, looking at that. So that's one thing I wanna point out is that Marathon does those interior design changes, but exterior also. All right. Back on our horse, getting up the block. And we're gonna end up over at the marathon double lot right by the front gates and right by the top of the falls restaurant cowboy barbecue tonight that's going to be a great event marathon owners in the desert it's one of those things where we take everybody out to uh out to an oasis out in the desert. It's about 20 minutes from here. And we, uh, there's cowboys singing and, and food and we get in these covered wagons and uh, it's a really good time. There's Lee from our service team. Good morning, Lee. And Jeff, 
Good morning. And that's another thing we could talk about since we just ironically ran into these guys. Is the Marathon Service Team down here servicing our customers, taking care of our customers. It's a commitment that Marathon has made from Florida to Texas to Oregon to take care of the people that buy our product, not just at our service centers, the three that I just mentioned, but in these parks from Florida all the way to California, all these popular parks. It is very important to have that commitment to our owners. And right across from the clubhouse and the top of the Falls restaurant, Coach 1365. Whoa, pardon the camera work, guys. There it is right there. I'm going to grab Jim Cogley and we're going to do a little. Oh, Greg says he's getting some snow in Nova Scotia. All right, if you've got questions about this coach, you guys, feel free to throw it at us. Jim Cogley and I are going to go in here real quick. Good morning. Look at that good-looking guy. <laughs> the coach, maybe. The coach, maybe. <laughs> good morning, Jim. How are you? Beautiful morning. Can't beat this. Absolutely. Was just talking about Cowboy Barbecue tonight and just ran into Jeff and Lee around the corner down here uh, servicing a marathon customer. Excellent. And uh, everyone's been dealing with my horrible camera work as I don't have my steady cam uh, with me, but... Uh, Better than I would be. At least I didn't fall off the bike, guys. At least I didn't fall <laughs> off. Jim, how do you feel about going inside and looking at 1365? Let's do it. All right, you guys, this is a coach that we looked at just last week as we revealed it to everybody around the nation and around the world. Coach 1365, the latest from Marathon. But this morning, and this is something I asked Jim about this morning, we're going to put people to the test. Actually, not put people to the test, but ourselves. I wanted to... Um, that texturing was pretty. I wanted to uh, show my top three things that I like about this coach and Jim's top three things that he likes about this coach. So we're going to head on in and take a look at I had the accent lights on for everyone to see, but if it's a little dark, Jim, yeah, I appreciate you turning on some lights. I'll pivot around. One of the features in this coach that gets talked about a lot are these amazing floors. Look at this. Look at the glare. That's how shiny these floors are. Coach 1365 is a 2023 Marathon X3 double slide, and it is available. All right, Jim. 1365 down in the desert. It's nice to have a new show coach down here to show people. Sure is. Uh, tell me, um, I know we've got a lot going on today, so let's get right into it. What are, what are three things that stand out to you about Coach 1365? Of course, you've already mentioned now the floor, which is gorgeous. That's got to be in, in there, I think. Um, very unique. I like the tone on tone. Uh, very modern look. I, I think it's a beautiful look. Everybody's come in so far has been really taken back by by that that feel. Uh, beautiful wood grain, yet yet charcoal uh, cabinet that's really got a nice look to it. The X3, the X3 body style. Uh, as a company, we built our first X3 in 1984, but as a body style for Prevo, the X3s or XL2s, and actually what they were called originally was the La Mirage, which meant the La Mirage window that wrapped up around the top of the coach with the stainless steel sides, that all happened. I didn't know that, that's cool. That all happened way back in the 70s. So it's, it's uh, this is a classic bus. Uh, with with the new front end that came out a couple of years ago, in 2021, the new front end, the new cap, uh, and all that has just enhanced that look. But it's it's uh, for me the classic XL, and it's so interesting to see how the XL and X3 
has has maintained that popularity over the last 40 years. So the classic X3 now is is still huge to me. And rolling down the road, there's still nothing that that says bus. Uh, yeah. Says bus more than than that X3. So the X3, the floor, the overall design of this interior. I mean, gorgeous, buddy. Gorgeous. It really is. Let's make our way to the back of the coach. So I will go with my first feature that I'm really a friend of. <laughs> and that's all this storage in this rear closet. Now, one of the things, Jim, that we had before was a lot of electronics in this area. And these have been strategically moved to another area, some of them under the bed, some of them in other areas that are accessible. But we were eating up a lot of really good storage space by putting them right here. And now what you have is great storage. You've got eight drawers, a, a, a really good area up here, and of course the dog leg um, that is up here, plus around the corner, as I showed you guys last week, there is storage up here. So that's one of the features that I like. Um, also, it's a feature that you see in all of the marathon coaches. The bed is up. I'm gonna get back in the in the closet here so I can show you. You see how that bed is pulled all the way up and Jim is actually pulling it down right now. This is something, now Jim, do we see this in a lot of coat in, um, in our competitors' coaches? I don't really think so. Not that I'm aware of. I'm not aware of it either, but. The nice thing, even when it's completely down, look at the room you have. Yeah, you still have accessible room to get around and then look at the natural light that comes behind the bed. Isn't that beautiful? And then as Jim pulls the bed up, it creates all this more space right here. What's great is when you put this slide out in to, to drive somewhere with the bed up like that, you're gonna still have plenty of room to get around if you needed to get back to something, washer dryer, clothes or anything like that while you're driving. With Absolutely. This. Absolutely. John is asking, can you put a split top king in the coach? A split top king. I know he's referring. Now, this is a king size bed here, John. And he, I think he's referring to a split top, which means one side can lay down and one side can um, articulate up like this one is. Sure. I'm sure we can. I'm sure we've done it. I think we have. Okay. Washer dryer also in that rear. Jim just turned on those sconce lights. It's really and the and the forward lights on the the reading lights, if you will, um, on the bed. Very it's nice. Such a clean, modern look. It's beautiful. It really is. Now, one of the things that Jim mentioned is the tone on tone. Uh, as you see, the lowers and the uppers are the same tone in this coach. Something we don't see as often lately is a tone-on-tone -tone look, and it's really dynamic in this coach. We see a lot of two-tone where the lowers will be a different color than the uppers. But in this coach, our interior design team has done a great job going tone-on-tone, -tone, as Jim pointed out. Another thing I like, Jim, is the indirect lighting on all marathon coaches, from the toe kick lights that you see down there, the under cabinet lights, there's lights underneath here, as you can see there, and also the lighting in this beautiful shower. Yeah, I appreciate that, Jake. I just read Jake's comment. Um, it really is. Marathon's fit and finished, and Jim and I... Jim Cogley and I get to see a lot of different coaches down here in the desert. We have the luxury of, of seeing a lot. Oh, yeah. Show us this, Jim.
half bath, the water closet right here. This is really a cool way to see it. And Jim had the door closed with the lighting on. Jim, you want to shut that door again? We can show everybody. Sure, it looks like it's part of the hallway. It really does. It might be kind of hard to see on camera, but it just looks like it's part of the hallway. It's kind of a hidden door, you guys. As I showed you last week, the Fisher Pikel replacing the Sub-Zero and the X3 in this coach, and it is beautiful. I get, I get, Jim, I get excited about refrigerators, uh, even uh, ones that don't have anything in it. That's great, Mal. Oh, man. It's bright, it's big, it's larger than the Sub-Zero. Nice right here too. Oh yeah, very nice. Seven it's the ceiling to floor. Yeah, it's all the way. And also these are fully adjustable. This is laminated. Nice drawers. That's the fit and finish of Marathon is you when you look in here and you see how everything is finished off. I hope that shows well on camera, but yeah, um, Jay Nicholas is asking if there is a ice maker in here. Bam, ice. Straight ice ice, baby. It's a nice feature. Yeah, that is a nice feature, Jim. Thank you for showing us that. This is a really cool thing. It looks like just the end of the cabinet. Um, and it, it actually is a push-pull drawer, which actually provides... Really nice storage on the end there, whether it be for spices or cutlery or whatever. Um, creative storage is one of the most important things in a marathon coach. And that's why we talk about marathons engineering is really important to why marathon does these things best. Creative storage above, behind, and below. So that your dinette is not just a dinette, but you've got storage behind it, above it, below it, including in behind the sofa. Very nice. One of the things that gets overlooked in our coaches, Jim, there you go. Jim's going to show us that jackknifing feature on the driver's side and the storage behind. See, these things are overlooked a lot because Marathon's done them for many, many years. But the thing is, you've got utilization of space, something that I've talked about for a long time. Utilization of space is very, very important. And I can show you that over here, too. Thanks, Jim. You have just a little bit of area. Just a little bit of area here. So why not have little drawers that can hold everything from paperwork to iPads to laptops? Very nice. That floor is gorgeous. Though. It really is. I'm going to go back to the floor. Who left this cookie here, Jim? Ah. Someone left a cookie here, my people. 20 bucks says it ain't going to make it through the day. Okay. But Take, is there an elephant? But is there, <laughs> yeah, is there an elephant in this coach? <laughs> There's a cookie in here. How about that floor, you guys? Isn't that something? I've said it before and I'll say it right now again. Listen to me now and hear me later. The fit and finish of a marathon coach, it even after all this time and 310 episodes, it still surprises me how beautiful these coaches are finished off. And when you're down here in the desert, you get to see several 
hundred examples of nice coaches. But I'm going to tell you, the logo on my shirt aside, there is nothing like the fit and finish and the proper engineering of a marathon coach. Straight, straight up, you guys. Everybody builds a nice coach. I've said it before, but nobody builds a coach like Marathon. How's this cockpit, Jim? Beautiful. I like our new design on the entry. Entry grabber. Yeah, that is nice. Thank you for pointing that out. That's another nice thing. And it's got a lot of indirect lighting around those panels right there that's really pretty. Nice. Oh, yeah, the pop-out GPS in the X3 is great. Also, the best snack tray in the industry. Let's take a look at that. I like it. Lots of storage for the driver. And this being the X3, you guys know, the cockpit is on the same level as the living quarters. Ceiling is much higher. Beautiful. Got the awnings out now. Oh, Jim put the awnings out for us. So look at the detail on these seats. Isn't that beautiful? All right, let's go check that awning. Yeah, that floor is something else, isn't it? The staff at Marathon should be very proud of this coach. I'm very proud to represent it and show it. It's just beautiful. So what are we talking on this side, Jim? Eight footers? At least probably 10. Yeah, 10 on our- Are they 10 out here? Yeah. And then like just over four feet on the other side? Right. Okay. Covered the slides. I'll give you guys kind of a wide shot so you can see it. Yeah, nice curve to them. Of course, lots of storage in the bays of this coach, including an entertainment bay. Awning package on the driver's side covers the two slide outs. Here's one thing that I showed to a, a few people yesterday that was just beautiful. And, and, oh, it's locked. I can't jump in there right now. Oh, Jim's going to go unlock it for me. I appreciate that. The, there it is. Look at the reflection of the palm trees in the back side of this coach. Isn't that pretty? The plumbing bay of a marathon coach. On camera, that that little Crestron. There we go. It's not blinking too much anymore. But look at that, you guys. Jim, how uh, how important is a functional water bay like this? Well, the engineering behind it. Uh, as you know, over the years has developed, we've had our, our manifolds with our uh, hot water and cold water separated for, oh, many, many years since I've been working for Marathon Matter Pack. So some, some of these uh, engineering designs have been out for a long time and they continue to work. That's why we keep them. And uh, so very functional for our owners, easy for them to learn how to uh, use everything out here. And it's also very accessible for our techs to get behind. And uh, they need it to access access our tanks. Uh, if they need to access uh, our 50 amp cord uh, cage where it rolls up, all, all the things, it doesn't, uh, doesn't take them hours and hours to uh, get back to things to work on them. So uh, I see a secondary uh, power cord in, power cord out. We like to do redundant. 
systems to allow ourselves if we're out on the out in the road our owners can uh, can call in to our tech support line and we can walk you through different uh, different things can help you manually do things uh, if, if you want to bypass electric absolutely that's great thank you Jim and also a spot to wash your hands Aye. looks like the boys are here marathon tech support is in the park not something to be overlooked we mentioned it uh, previously in the show but if you didn't hear me say it having the presence of marathon service in these parks throughout the United States is something else. Whether you're in Mountain Falls or you're up at Petoskey or you're down here in Indio at one of these three beautiful parks here or Polson or I mean Quartzsite, you name it. We have a presence at all of these parks from the interior to the east to the west coast. And look at these beautiful trucks. This one's a little dirty right now. But big props to upper management and the owners, the owner of Marathon Coach for allowing us to bring in a, such beautiful service vans. It's not something to overlook, you guys. It's, uh, it's a big part of the business is the service after. When you buy a coach, you want to know that you are going to be um, taken care of after the purchase. That's beautiful. Well, Jim, anything else you want to say? I know we're coming into Cowboy Barbecue tonight, which is a, a big event for marathon owners. Yeah, I can't wait. I think we're going to have a... Well, it's going to be a perfect night for us. It is. The sun goes down, we're out in the desert, the, uh, the sunset is gorgeous, and uh, it's a funny event. And I'm sure you're going to do some Mal on the, on the move out there. Absolutely. So you guys can chime in a little later. Yeah, so tonight, uh, stay tuned, we're going to do uh, a Mal on the move out out in the uh, middle of nowhere, Jim. Isn't that great? <laughs> we have American flag flying in the background. Yeah, that's pretty. All right, you guys, don't forget to be yourself and do good things. Thank you so much for supporting uh, the show and Marathon, and a big thanks from myself and Jim. And uh, I guess I should say one more thing before we get out of here. This coach is down here in California, and you can see it at any time. So feel free to reach out to us, uh, malw at marathoncoach.com or jimc at marathoncoach.com. Send us an email and come see this coach. If you're in one of these parks and you haven't seen it yet, it's only been here a few days, come see it. Beautiful. All right. I said it before. I'll say it now. Be yourself and do good things. I am out of here. Take care, everybody. See you tonight on a Mal on the Move from the middle of the midnight at the Oasis. Yeah!